I'm Kay, and I'm a late bloomer. Today I dropped in to see Farmer Jack, biodynamic farmer of 45 years, and he shared with me his foolproof three-minute method for planting lettuce in a pot. Check it out. This is Jack, my biodynamic farmer friend. And we are going to plant in this pot 300 lettuce. A mixture of 10 different kinds of lettuce. 300 lettuce in that pot in three minutes. In this pot, which isn't that big, maybe... 12 inches around. You can do it in a six inch pot, an eight inch pot, a 10 inch pot, a 12 inch pot, an acre. First you fill up this pot with biodynamic compost, if you can find it, We're good. but the best compost you can find, and then... And then you... Very important that you wet the soil and get it damp. The reason being, if you put lettuce seed or any kind of seed in a, in a dry soil, it's not going to germinate. So we're helping it germinate by wetting the soil and dampening the soil. Then we take our 12 different kinds of lettuce seed. Which you collected or? These are 12 different packages of different kinds of lettuce and combine them in one little shaker. Oh, that's great. And now what we do is we plant them around in a circle. You can plant one seed or you can plant 500 seeds. The more seeds you plant, the better. Because they will not all germinate. Then after you plant the seeds in the wet, moist soil, compost, then you wet them to start the germination. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, magic dust. Uh, well, what if we don't have magic dust? Or something sifted compost. That's what this is, sifted compost. You want to lightly cover. There's a procedure you use when you plant seeds. You over sow because the germination is not good, the soil is not good, and the water is not good. That way you're guaranteed of getting maybe 50%. So you over sow and you under cover with magic dust. I call it magic dust because my mentor of 45 years showed me how to do this. Now, take one of these towels over there, I'm going to wet it and soak it. You're going to wet and soak a towel? With water. Okay. Preferably good water. Well water. Rain water. So when it rains, catch the water. Get the water. There may be some, some chemicals in the rainwater, but mainly what you have in rainwater are all the trace minerals, zinc, molybdenum, iron. And you wet the towel to the consistency of a wet sponge. And you put everybody to bed. And this eliminates drying out every day. You moisten the towel when it dries out. Now, does this have to be baking in the sun, or can it have partial sun no, and shade? No, it's good to keep it out of the sun until it germinates, until they pop up. So in a week or more, are you ready? Yes. Voila, this is what you have. Wow. Once it's at this stage, do you leave it in the bright sun? And then the moisture has to be kept like a wet sponge all the time, not with a cover on, but once they germinate, take the cover off and they're just cracking above the top. And then just, I water this sometimes in the summer when it's real hot. I go and I touch it and if it's dry, I water it. Sometimes it could be two, three, five, ten times a day. Wow. If you don't, they'll die. They'll have no lettuce. You have to live in the garden for it to prosper and to grow. Another thing Jack shared with me is you can never, ever, ever do anything wrong in the garden. I'm gonna to try to keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm Kay, I'm a late bloomer, thanks for watching. See you next time.
Like the hat? I take my hat off too. <laughs>